Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know what is going to come through that door. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? All right. Uh, I've got a document here. It's a ship document of some kind, and it's got a couple signatures on it. Not sure what it's worth. Sweet. Is that a pirate ship? No, that's not a pirate ship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to the pawn shop today to sell my antique ship document. It was given to me by my grandfather. I've had it for a long time and just thought I'd try to get some money out of it. I'm really not sure what it's worth, and uh, I'd like to find out. To pass with her company, passengers, goods, merchandise without any hindrance, seizure, or molestation. This is made the 12th day of February in the year of our Lord, 1805. This was basically paper saying that this is a United States ship and that that ship is under protection of the United States of America. The whole problem is the United States at the time had no real way of protecting its ships. We had a very, very small Navy. This is basically the reason why the War of 1812 started, because the English didn't recognize these papers at all. Okay. They would stop American ships on the high seas, they would board them, they would just take their sailors and press them into the English Navy. Mm -hmm. Pressed was more or less taken into slavery. You were forced to work on a Navy ship. Yeah, I got Which pressed here. <laughs> Life on a British naval ship in the early 1800s was miserable, and you would get paid half of what you would on a merchant ship. Naturally, they had a shortage of volunteers, so the British Navy forced people into service. Uh, the reason I think that it has some value here is it looks like James Madison's signature down there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm assuming that that might be worth something. Yeah, and Thomas Jefferson right here. You have Thomas Jefferson, the president, mm -hmm. and Madison, who later became president. This is neat. Um, I mean, I can tell it's a real ship's document. It's done on vellum and presidential seal right there. This document is really something. It doesn't have the signature of one founding father, it has two. This must have been stored in a drawer or a file for 200 years. It's in that good a shape. My instinct tells me it's gonna be worth a lot of money, but I have to get it checked out by a pro just to be sure. So did you wanna pawn this, sell this, donate it to charity? I think I'm looking to sell it. <laughs> okay. Do you have an idea what you wanted for it? No, no, I do not have an idea, so... First off, I gotta find out if the signatures are real. I don't know if, like, a ship's papers was done by the president or done by just his secretary. Before I make you an offer, I want someone to come in, I want them to take a look at this thing, and let's get it figured out what it's worth. I've never had one of these before. Okay, that All sounds right. good. I'm hoping that the expert will actually have more information for me so I can walk out of there with some money. This was during the time of all kinds of mayhem on the high seas. And it's one of the boldest that I've seen. But you have a very big problem here. Earlier, a guy brought in a ship's document that appears to be signed by Thomas Jefferson and James Madison. But I don't know if it's legit, so I invited my buddy Dana down to take a closer look at it. Well, this is what I called you about. A watered up piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dana. I'm president of Early American History Auctions. Okay, well, I recognize this. What we have here is what's known as a ship's passport. There's a couple of really interesting things about this particular form. That's Edward Savage, the sculptor who engraved the design of the ships. It's a um, USS Constitution style uh, warship. You could also see the scalloped top. This is where it's cut from the rest of its form, which continued out to here. And when the form gets turned back into the treasury, the book copy would have the opposite cut matching that perfectly. One problem is that the writing is very faded and it's kind of hard to read. That's an issue to do mostly with the fact that it's on vellum. It's almost a sheepskin material and the uh, ink doesn't really get absorbed. And so it tended to fade very, very quickly. But the original imprinting in black that was made on a printing press 
remains sharp and fresh. And so it says you have a ship by the name of Madison and a document that's also signed by James Madison as Secretary of State. I think that's pretty remarkable. Okay, well, my big concern is, I don't know if this is like just signed by a secretary. Right, oh, absolutely. Thomas Jefferson had a very fine and elegant signature. So the uh, signature appears to be absolutely authentic and in character with others that I have seen. Wow, really? Absolutely. And James Madison here is much easier to see and it's absolutely authentic. Wow, that's amazing. This document is a very important piece of nautical history. It was signed by Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, and James Madison, the fourth president of the United States. That's incredible. So what do you think it's worth? This document itself is in fabulous quality. I believe you have a document here that's pretty easily in today's market worth five to $6,000. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. You're the best, Dana. So what do you want for this thing? Um, I don't know, 5,000? No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, well, make me an offer. I'll give you 2,500 bucks for it. You do 3,500? Um, you know, I'll go 28. I mean, he said it was worth five to $6,000. Unless you have a pawn shop somewhere, you're not gonna get that kind of number. I'll go three grand, I won't go up any more, and I, I really think that's a fair deal. And it's cash money. All right, I think I'll take it. Okay, good. You wanna write him up, chum? I'm pumped I got this piece. It's amazing. This is exactly the kind of thing I love having on my wall.